what is up youtube welcome back to another video now you guys already know i don't like to do a lot of talking so let's get right into this video in this video we're going to be doing 50 putrid cloisters all together th this did cost me seven divines we are going to see what we get out of these putrid cloisters and if it's actually worth running putrid cloisters and will you make a profit as everything this is rng we don't know for exactly sure if we're going to get anything good but what we will do is just experiment and see exactly what cards we'll be getting if we're we'll beginning high tier cards low tier cards and seeing how much on a frequent basis will we be getting paid out by doing this but anyway let's get into it All right, YouTube, we are back. Um, this was a very interesting experiment uh, for the most part. We put seven divines into it, and turns out from POE stack, we made exactly 7.8 divines. Now, we did get a cortex. I did not include the cortex into this because it's not a diff, it's not a, anything that has to do with a div card or, you know, stack decks or anything. So if we do include that too, we made 8.8 .8 divines because a cortex is a divine. From the cards alone, we made 7.8 divines and let's go over what exactly we got. The most that we got was divine beauty, which was 1.1 divines. We got two of them. The total value 1.1 divines, but the value of it is 125 chaos. We got two of those. So that's, that's, that's decent. We got three patients, which I'm very surprised we got three patients. I thought we would get a bit more than that, but it's okay. Um, we got the chosen, which is a skin the loyal div card. That being said, and then we got a, a mono, we got monochrome, which is the elevated sextant, and then home for the exceptional gym. And then the rest of them is dumb card. The card that I am very, very surprised we didn't get a lot of, or at least a few of, is the fortunate. We only got one, the fortunate, and I thought we would at least get like three or four of them, but it is perfectly fine. But at the end of the day, with this experiment, I can honestly say it was not worth doing the 50 maps because i just i just broke even you know directly besides the cortex you know that dropped but if the cortex didn't drop i would just have broken even even no matter what which is pretty crazy to me that concludes this experiment you guys could try it for yourself or not but in my opinion i feel like it wasn't worth it this is not something i'll be doing in the future or anything unless it gets buffed or anything like that but you know ob obviously it's rng on your side because you can get something good and if you get something good it can pay out but for me i'll just stick in crimson temple with with div deli orbs or i'll drop stack decks if i want div cards or something like that because with this strategy it's just not worth buying future cloisters and then running them it was extremely fast now it was really fast Roughly, it took me about 50 minutes to complete them all, which is not bad at all. It, 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 for 50 maps, that is extremely fast. Um, I just ran to the boss, killed the boss, left. Ran to the boss, killed the boss, uh, you know, left. Rinse and repeat over and over. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe, 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 and hit that like button. And thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for sticking on the channel. I'd really appreciate it if you do hit that subscribe button. But yeah, you guys have a great day. Catch you later.